All right, everybody. Um, day two of the, uh, the vlog series. We have, um, hopefully this audio isn't too terrible for you. Um, I have a Rode wireless mic coming in. The one that can like just hook up in here. So it's the good audio, but we, uh, we got some pre-workout coming at you today. Energy Plus by ISN Innovative Sports Nutrition. Our friend um, Leo Meilhofer, a uh, classic physique guy, he's been on the show a few times over on BNN. Um, cool dude. This is his new supplement sponsor, so I wanted to support him. Uh, I just had their horchata whey protein. It was phenomenal this morning, so definitely check it out if uh, if you're interested in um, supporting Leo and uh, this new company. But uh, I'm going to use their pre-workout today. Uh, not a crazy workout today. It's going to be um, it's going to be a uh, chest. We're going to really focus on um, just getting a lot of volume, getting the chest really filled out, and then um, move some. Try to try to get some some good weight moving. Nothing crazy, uh, and then we'll finish it up with the good good hard cardio session. And uh, today's our back back on diet day take one day off um on saturdays so let's go ahead and fill this up real quick I have a fat cat, and uh, if he can see the bottom of that food bowl, he just harasses me as soon as I get in the kitchen. It's crazy. So, that's what you're hearing in the background. Uh, the flavor is lump <coughs> lemonade. It is very powderized, so it kicks up in the air. It goes right in your nostrils. So this will be kicking in pretty quickly. Um, little uh, label facts for those of you who are interested. Here's the label. Uh, let's see, the big stuff, big stuff. It's got a little bit of citrulline, a little bit of creatine. It's got a focus matrix, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Nothing crazy. Probably a double scooper. Definitely a double scooper. I will not. I'm just going to do one scoop. I'm not going to try to go crazy. Just, just a little, little bit on the edge. Just a little bit to help you get through the workout. But uh, we're heading to the gym. Uh, I will show you an outline of the workout for today. Let's see here. Courtesy of our friend Ty Jordan Bodybuilding. Uh, this is the old program that he built for me a long time ago. And we fell off because I have no discipline. Um, goodness, dude. Uh, we're going to do some incline pressing. Maybe some smith pressing, and then uh, incline dumbbells, some flies, laterals, shoulders, and then uh, that'll be the workout. So here's the workout, if you want to follow along. Sorry Tyler, if that's a no-go, I can edit that out, but I'll put that back on the fridge. I like to, um, the way my brain works is I really have to see things, and if I don't have it out in front of me doesn't exist so that's my uh that's my two cents but enjoy the workout and i'll see you guys post-workout all right let's get right into it we're going to start off with a flat dumbbell press now you're going to notice uh first off actually before i get ahead of myself uh, i wanted to include the preparation coming into the movement so me actually putting the weights on my knees uh, kind of like my kick up philosophy. Now, lately I've been kicking it up, you see, with the knees into the upright stance. 
and then I use my legs to push my momentum down, uh, roll the, the lower lumbar, get the shoulders back and squeezed, and then I start pressing. Um, lately, I've been thinking about maybe doing the, um, when I kick the weights up to start at the bottom instead of the top of the press. So I'll be messing around with that um, soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, for this exercise specifically, uh, I have a lot of issues with the, uh, right shoulder, which is my bad shoulder. Um, something uh, you'll notice as we press here is, uh, it looks like I'm almost like canted, like my body's favoring that right arm, uh, where the dumbbell is going lower. Um, it's been years of me working on this, trying to make sure it's nice and balanced, but, uh, there definitely is an imbalance that I, uh, continue to, uh, try to address. Uh, so if you guys have any, um, mobility, uh, tips and tricks, or if there's a different exercise I can do besides a dumbbell press to work on that imbalance, please let me know, uh, from what I know and have experienced over my, my, uh, long and, uh, consistent, I guess, bodybuilding career is that the dumbbell press is the uh, one of the best exercises for working on imbalances with pressing as the lady next to me is doing every exercise in the book. Uh, crazy. But um, I've done a little bit of barbell work, but it really does aggravate the shoulder. Uh, dumbbell seems to be the only way to go. When I do machines, the imbalance definitely shows up. So somehow my body just adjusts to the imbalance when I'm doing dumbbell work like that. And it just kind of finds its uh, modified plane of motion uh, to work around that injury. Now, this is a, a new one for me here. Typically, I do a standing version of this and uh, do a little bit of momentum. But I tried this one out today. It's like a seated scoop fly working on the... Uh, upper chest. I do believe this one hits the upper chest and, uh, it felt good, but I definitely prefer the free motion version with just two cables from a, a fly, like a cable fly machine. Um, this one was nice. Uh, the angle is just a little bit off for me. I felt uh, a lot of popping and, um, little pinches here and there. So we only did about two sets for this exercise and then we moved on. Um, but if you guys have machines like this, or if you have any variations that you think are uh, very beneficial, definitely, definitely let me know. I, I know I've seen some people use a yoga ball where they put the, um, yeah, you can see me. I'm just like, damn, that did not feel great. Um, and that was, uh, yeah, that's my bad shoulder. Yep. 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 Uh, I've seen people use yoga balls where they, uh, helps them get a little bit more thoracic extension in the lower back to really push the chest up and, and isolate the, uh, the pec muscles as you're doing this exercise. Um, definitely something I could try out. Uh, I, uh, I'm looking for different gyms right now. There's a couple really cool ones called, uh, I think it's called like the, uh, American barbell club in San Jose, which is about a 30, 40 minute drive for me. Not ideal. Uh, I don't really want to get back into the rhythm of driving an hour, hour and a half every day to go to a gym, but, um, I definitely need a, a change of scenery, a little bit more intensity, variety of equipment. I'd like to get a lot more plate loaded, uh, hammer strength stuff. So definitely something we'll be thinking about, uh, doing soon. Uh, this is at the San Ramon location in California, if you're familiar. Um, and they do not have much for hammer strength. Now the gym in Pleasanton where I live currently does have some hammer strength. So I might go there again. Once I feel a little bit better, I'm a little under the weather right now. Um, as of editing this video, uh, this is the fly moons. If you watch that right arm, it does actually it doesn't look too bad in this one. Typically it looks pretty terrible where it's very unbalanced. I know my, um, uh, my Jasmine, uh, when she used to be, um, training with me, she would, uh, let me know how unbalanced they were by actually like touching which arm was lower than the other. A uh, nice cue if you have a partner training partner or a partner partner to uh, help you with, uh, with your exercises. And this is uh, probably going to be the last one for this. This has to be my favorite exercise right now. The, the lying dumbbell fly. It absolutely just destroys my pec muscles. Uh, afterwards, I always am sore like the day after I always feel it. So there's gotta be something magical about just putting that strain at that completely stretched movement at the bottom. 
um, really opens up my chest. I feel like it helps a lot with my uh, side chest shots, with my front lat spread shots. Uh, it makes my chest, uh, my upper chest look a lot fuller. And especially the chest, the part of the chest that connects with your shoulder, kind of in that armpit area, that uh, definitely feels a lot fuller and looks a lot more fuller uh, when I do my poses. So it's definitely something I've been enjoying. Uh, it's very challenging, takes a lot of stability, takes time. You can't really put a lot of crazy momentum into it, uh, especially with my injuries. I try to really uh, play it safe on a lot of these exercises. Surprisingly, I don't know what was going on this day, uh, but the gym is fairly empty. Usually it's an absolute zoo with all these ramen noodle topped kids running around groups of five, taking up the squat bar and the, the bench press and things of that nature. Um, but not today. Today was pretty empty. Very nice to see. Um, for this dumbbell press, I used to go really stupid. I'd put like 90s, 100 pounds in my hands and just kick them up like crazy. Uh, put the belt on, straps, the sleeves, and just go to town. Probably tweak my neck, um, pinch a nerve, all kinds of crazy stuff. Lately, um, not so much. Uh, we have brought a new coach on, Mr. Justin Badarina, uh, IFBB Pro Classic Physique guy. Uh, he's been on the channel a lot with the Classic Kings podcast. So he's going to be working on um, rebuilding my physique as we uh, one, get ready for the Mark's Max Muscle Competition, and two, as we prepare for our first NPC show. Uh, is something I still want to do. Uh, it's been years in the making, and uh, hopefully we can get on stage and uh, see what kind of muscle we've been able to add to this uh, frame, this natural frame, uh, as we still are natural, uh, competing natural. So, uh, not too much, uh, outside of that going on, uh, heck, what am I talking about? There's so much going on. Um, I might make another video and, and address some of that stuff. Uh, life has been, uh, an absolute shit show and, um, and, you know, I, I don't know how I'm, how I'm able to keep going. Uh, I kind of like have like mini, mini mental breakdowns and then I, uh, try to get something motivational to, inspire me. Maybe I'll pick up the floor or vacuum and then I hop back down and try to make another video. So, um, life is very interesting right now. So, uh, maybe I'll make another video. Uh, I actually did make the video and then it somehow corrupted. So we lost it. So maybe I'll make it, maybe I'll try to make it again. But, um, yeah, so this shoulder pressing exercise is phenomenal. I really do enjoy, uh, just being able to push myself to that like next level, um, while still, working within the realms of my pain and whatnot. But uh, thanks for watching another training vlog. Definitely let me know if you guys want to see another one. Uh, say, stay tuned, stay subscribed, and uh, I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in another episode here on BNN.